this shit made me think I could sing. <laughs> Know a lot of social media comments, and I and I try to speak to some of these artists to do the same thing too. Yeah, I hear that. Just still, ignore man. them, man. Just that, leave them alone, man. These guys ain't gonna do nothing. Mm. Like, come on, David O spent over a million dollars or whatever buying two cars in the last three weeks. You know, this is somebody that in 48, I think it was 72 hours, was on a private jet about 11 times. Uh, Lagos to Atlanta, Atlanta to London, London to Abuja, Abuja to Lagos, Lagos to Abuja, Abuja to Paris, Paris to back to Atlanta in three days. And you are on social media attacking that person. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you must. Hello guys, welcome once again to Careless Media. If you're just joining us for the first time, you are welcome. And if I be with us for the way, you are also welcome. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and also drop a comment. So guys, this video you have been watching is the moment, you know, and this to pay was, you know, live on the TV, national TV, discussing about the way, you know, our, you know, great, great uh, influencers, our celebrities spend money out there on buying luxuries, just like cars, owning of, owning of private jets and the rest. And, you know, in this he actually addressed the issue of TV2, particularly buying a private jet and almost spending more than a million dollars on just two cars last month. Let's not forget, the video bought the latest Rolls Royce 2024 and, you know, a Tesla, which cost him a whole lot of money, about a million dollars for both cars. And this guy, you know, has actually been spending more money on luxuries. Talk about his necklace, talk about the videos, you know, cars, house collections, and the rest of the things he loved doing fashion and the rest. This guy spends money on things that, you know, uh, he likes. And this is the way you, people are supposed to actually enjoy their money, knowing that this life no get duplicate. And as such, you ought to enjoy what you are laboring for. I mean, the video works for it. Let's take a look at the example which Adesope gave while he was talking about this issue. Talking about the video traveling 11 times within 72 hours. Imagine that traveling from one country to another, from one city to another. This is the usefulness of this, you know, private jet he actually acquired. Imagine if this private jet was not there, you know, what do you think would have happened? Do you think he would have been able to catch up with his flight? Do you think he would have been able to meet up with different shows, which he has, you know, booked and all of that? that put together do you think you would have even had a durable you know uh plane to travel with you know we've been having cases of plane crash and you know here and there you know celebrities and top uh, government officials losing their life in plane crash all because of one recklessness something they could have afforded something they could have avoided at the same time well guys what is your take on this do you think at this point is not right you know when he said uh, you should forget about what fans are saying what people are saying on social media and focus on what the person who acquired this uh, luxury is actually doing with it you know for the video this uh, private jet which he acquired and his recent uh, vehicles collection which actually got are not just for luxury alone they are for his comfort let's not forget these things we buy you know is mostly for our comfortability and this you know is actually one of the major reason uh at this point came out to defend the video and other celebrities out there let's not forget on my leg got this tesla too i mean what do you think Omale would be doing with this mighty car that is getting it two of it at the same time? Well, guys, let me know your opinion via the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also let me what, know what you think about it via the comment section. Let's not forget a big man was also out there at Atlanta vibing with his baby, vibing with his wife, Chef Chioma, who has always been a supportive wife, always. 
out there making sure the video is good despite you know the hustle the travel the shows and everything choma is always there to back the video up let's give a shout out to her out there for being a wonderful woman well guys this is a much we can take on this don't forget to like this video share to your loved ones and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification icon so that you get all the video and see the hot via this channel thank you for watching see you on my next video for now and mouth oh shit